The nomination is John B. Interesting. That came from Lachelle mm. Wallace. That came. Interesting. Lachelle loves John B. So that's probably I how actually she just found w- us. <laughs> <laughs> I actually watched John B.'s unsung episode uh, probably about a week ago. It was a pretty interesting story, just seeing how you know they had a hard time marketing him at first because he was a white guy, and then they don't know came out, fully embraced him, and then with the Tupac song as well. Um, so. I mean, he's had some solid records, um, and contrary to popular belief, he has put out an album after 2001. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going first? Uh, Tom, Me? Tom, you go. Yeah, go first. This is your boy. Well, you know, I'm a John B. fan. Some people were known to call me Slam B. back in the day. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, he's also a friend of ours and a friend of the site. I wouldn't call him a Hall of Famer. Although I love his talent, I'm a fan of his music, you know, it's rare you see writers, musicians, and and singers these days who have the triple threat, especially coming out of his generation. He had some big hits. He also collaborated with many of of my favorite rappers, some of the biggest names, you know, Tupac, obviously, Jay-Z, he has a song with, he has a song with Nas, he has a song with AZ, so, I mean, he's done, he's done so much, he still tours religiously, he's not releasing music as much, but, um... I'm a fan, but unfortunately, he's not getting in the Hall of Fame for me, even though I think he's a a great, great artist. Well, kind of got to agree with Tom. Look at this. We're actually in agreement. So, I saw that um, Unsung Episode 2 that you saw, Kyle, and it really... I was already a fan of John B. But that episode just made me love him more as a person. He just seems like the nicest guy ever. And I'm sure Tom can speak to that. But I think Tom hit it on the head. Like, he's a great artist, a very, very underrated artist. But as far as a Hall of Fame catalog, when you talk about albums and influence and longevity, he just doesn't measure up to the elite of the elite. So I would have to say no to, but great artist. Love me some John B. You know, I'm I'm with you guys as well, but Cool Relax is, is such a great album. Man, like, that's one of the best albums of the 90s, I think. Definitely. I wouldn't argue with it. Well, could you make an argument that he opened the door? This is a stupid argument, but I've heard this. Did he open the door for Robin Thicke, Justin Timberlake, etc.? I don't agree with that, but I've heard that being said. I've heard it too, and I disagree as well. I mean, that'd be like saying that Tina Marie opened the door for this person and that person. Like, I've always been, and I've written about this in the past, I'm pretty anti the term blue eyed soul. I don't think you need to characterize R&B by the color of the person that it comes out of their mouth. I think R&B is R&B, and we don't have to throw that label on it. So, I mean, some people have put him as a trailblazer in that end, I think it's kind of unnecessary, and let the music speak for itself. I ain't really mad. Yeah, agreed. 